the people that live here, if they're lucky enough to find another house, fine, you know. But the money that they're giving them is not enough for, for them to find a house, especially here in Arizona where we're going through a housing crisis. Uh, you cannot find any affordable housing at all. The cities, the states, uh, bend over backwards for developments, for developers, for uh, investors. But the little people are left behind. They're not protected. And it's a big university with tentacles all over the, all over the state, all over the city. Uh, you cannot find a single nonprofit that will be willing to take on GCU or a, or a zoning attorneys that would be willing to take GCU or anybody that would be willing to take, not even the politician will take on GCU because they're a powerful player here. GCU could have easily given them at least money so they could live in, in, a, in, a, in a comparable place. For example, uh, a mobile home park, you cannot move this. They could have bought them all of them spaces in, 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 other, in other mobile homes. They could have. They chose not to. They did it only for a couple of people because they were veterans, but they didn't do it for anybody else. Uh, and if they could do it for a couple of people, they could have done it for everybody. They have enough money to do it. It's really uh, painful to be looking for another mobile home when I already own my mobile home. That's really been um, devastating to be looking, you know, for another mobile home when you own your own already. But we have been looking for apartments, which would be a drastic change for us, and we haven't found anything under like 1,800. That's way above what we can afford right now. Way past anxiety at this point. I mean, a lot, myself and a lot of the tenants here were, were experiencing a lot of trauma, which we didn't really expect that to come along with an eviction. Um, we've lost a, a neighbor. She had a heart attack. Um, I've driven my other neighbor to the hospital already twice, thinking that he was having a heart attack. So this is really taking a toll on our health too and our mental state of mind. When you live somewhere, you establish a community, you establish friendships, you establish unity, you know who you are, you know, you're united. And in and, and very few words, Grand Canyon University has destroyed this community. Mi nombre es Isabel Ramos. Yo tengo una niña de 11 años, es igual, igual pues a, estoy aquí pues no tengo ahorita donde ir y pues no sé qué vaya a pasar. Todos somos trabajadores. Si vivimos aquí es porque se adapta a lo que nosotros tenemos por ingreso. ¿Quieres mi casa? Dame una casa igual. No te estoy pidiendo más. Dame una casa igual.